Coming off a double overtime thriller, ASU was looking for a less stressful game against McNeese State. Early on, it was clear to see which team was more gifted, but the Cowboys fought hard. Despite the underdog's best efforts, the Devils showed great defensive improvement as they held their opponents to under 32% from the field. After a sluggish first half, the Sun Devils decided to turn up the heat on McNeese State by implementing a full-court press, a decision, surprisingly, that was not made by Bobby Hurley. Guys kind of did that on their own. I think they understood that, you know, the, the tone in the locker room wasn't great at halftime, and they, they felt like they had to pick things up, pick their energy up, and they independently just kind of did that, extended the defense more, and in particular, Lou and, and Z just uh, created some problems for them at times. But it was not just the defensive end where Cheatham and Dort were having fun. They put on an aerial show while combining for more than half the Devils' points. And I just told him to turn up. And, uh, I mean, me and him, we were on the same page. We gave each other the look. And I told him, let's, uh, they had a four man taking it out. And I knew he didn't want to dribble. So I was like, let's just make it, uh, excuse my language, live in hell for him to get it across half court. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure he, he, he felt our wrath. After all the in-game festivities, the last player off the court was Remy Martin, who played 28 minutes in his second game back from ankle injury. Reporting from Wells Fargo Arena, Tyler Mannion, Cronkite Sports.